Deb Chase of No Nonsense Beauty Blog and this is Fashion Flash on Air. I love to make skincare products at home because I can use the ingredients that I know will work and leave out the ones that cause problems. And one of my favorite ingredients are alpha hydroxy acids, also known as fruit acids. And they're found in tomatoes, grapes, citrus fruits, and buttermilk and many other dairy products as lactic acid. And alpha hydroxy acids act by taking off the top dead skin cells that make your complexion look muddy. But even better, by removing this top layer of dead skin cells, it encourages new, fresh, healthy skin growth. And you can kind of think of alpha hydroxy acids as Retin-A baby steps. And the best part of it, you don't need a prescription, you don't need to go to the store, you can make it yourself at home with ingredients from your own kitchen cabinets and refrigerator. And I'm going to make two face masks, one for combination skin and one for dry skin. And they have the basic same in ingredients, but there's a, just a little variation at the end. And they start with buttermilk, which has your lactic acid, which that's what's the, the power ingredient of the alpha hydroxy. Then we're going to thicken it a little bit with rice flour, which also has a benefit when you take it off. We're going to add some honey as an emollient to keep things smooth, and then we're going to add an egg. For the combination skin, we're going to use the egg white to make a nice film, because you want it to stick on the skin, otherwise it's just going to run off your skin, and it's not going to be a mask. And the egg yolk we're going to use for a mask for dry skin, and it couldn't be simpler. Take one tablespoon of buttermilk, two teaspoons of rice flour, a teaspoon of honey, and either an egg yolk or an egg white depending on your skin type. Blend well, And then with a pastry brush, which I like to call a face mask brush, you take some on the brush and you spread it on your, the top of your hands and on your face. Sit back, relax, probably at least 20 minutes if you can keep it on for up to an hour. The longer you keep it on, the more benefits you're going to get. And then rinse it off with a warm washcloth. And when you do, you'll see that the rice flour, which is also soothing, has a little bit of the gentlest exfoliant in it. And it takes off those dead, dry cells that have been loosened by the alpha hydroxy acid and in the buttermilk. And that's simply all you have to do. You can do this once a week, once a month, when your skin needs it, in any kind of weather. I'm Deb Chase for No Nonsense Beauty Blog, and this has been Fashion Flash on Air.